Greetings! My name's Gordon Freeman, and I'm very peeved, and... Well, there are some subtle hints as to intelligent life inhabiting this place. You know, just very slight ones. Well, let's go meet the locals. Uh. Oh yeah, and I also, also I'm pretty sure I broke this place. Slightly. Woo! That was quite a fucking slide. I'm not sure the physics of that quite add up, but alright. I'm in an alien world. Not just alien planet. I think I'm in a completely different fucking universe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what... I just really don't know how... My life has gone at this point. All I know is that... All I know is to keep moving forward. Wherever forward might be. Oh. Huh. I guess I'm fixing that stuff that I broke. Sure, why not? Oh. God, this place is beautiful. Every time I come here, it's just... It always strikes me, just how utterly gorgeous. It's all those. This, this is where I was meant to be, where I am meant to be. I don't know. Maybe the need to find a way around. Maybe no. There's literally nowhere else I can go. Okay then. Uh, leap of faith, maybe. Oh wait, here we go. Uh. Oh, okay. That works. <laughs> oh. God, I love these jets. Man, my life, my quality of life has improved drastically ever since I left Black Mesa. Isn't that funny? Although, uh, I wonder if this place is tec technically qualifies as part of the Black Mesa complex. In the same way that those of the 
more distant areas in the desert counted. And this seems pleasant. Yeah. I'm trying to find a place where I can shoot these things that won't blow me up with them. Oh, fucking blocking the thing. Okay, um... Maybe, what does this do? Okay. Maybe I can... Yeah. These won't get blown up with the rest of them. Now. Voila! All right. On. Detach, damn you! Jesus. Freaking magnet, freaking magnetic clamps or whatever they are. A bit over eager on these things. <sighs> All right. Now what? Wait. Oh, hang on. I see. Yeah. No, wait. Oh, fuck. What? What? Okay, that doesn't quite make sense. Okay, what if I... I'm so far away that it couldn't possibly get me. Okay. There we go. I guess just being in the remote vicinity of it... Killed me. Makes sense to me. Fuck it, it's an alien world, I don't know. Maybe that does somehow make sense. More likely it's just the world being a weirdo and deciding to annoy me in petty ways because it saw me having too much fun. Not on my watch. Oh man, seeing the, the fucking giblets fly everywhere is so much more satisfying in low gravity. Ah, yes. The land of the computer desktop wallpaper. And the wizard spires, apparently. I know. I guess this thing is good for something after all. Could have fooled me. Maybe not 
that move though. I suppose I should probably use this a bit more considering... Well, no. In the future, maybe. If I have, if I do wind up getting stuck on this planet, that would be a good thing to keep in mind because at the moment I'm getting resupplied from supplies from Black Mesa and all that, and I, only, and I can only also, uh, and not using them would be a waste. But in the future, if I need to worry about sustainability, something, something to keep in mind. Taking a wrong turn for a second there. Okay. Where do you go? Oh! Alright. Aha! There and you. Oh. That was a rather short jaunt. Oh, wait, I see. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait, of course. Now that the door's open, I can take it out. Because it only powers the door... The door opening mechanism, not the thing keeping it open, right. Sorry. I sort of assumed the worst here. But what am I thinking? This isn't Black Mesa. Okay. I'm sure that did something. Oh! And there we go! Back working. Whatever that is. Probably some kind of portal or something. That tends to be what those weird looking orbs do. Although that's a particularly weird looking one. Maybe it's a special portal. I don't know. How do I get out? Oh, right, of course. Uh. Fucking elevators. Even in an alien world, I can't get away from them. Uh. Damn it. Hang on. Let me see if I can...
Nope. Damn it. Okay. Uh. Um. All right then. Geronimo. Let's hope it doesn't blow up everything again. At the very least, something is accomplished by it blowing up everything. Oh, now that looks ominous. Oh, and a nice little platform. I beg your fucking pardon. As far as I'm concerned, I can't fucking lose. And that's a hypothesis backed up by a great deal of experimental results. I'm not even gonna bother asking what that voice was in my head. It's an alien world. Of course there's gonna be a unexplained voice in my head. I'd be more surprised if I didn't become science at some point. Oh, thanks, Sue, for telling me how to run away faster. That's not ominous in the slightest. Oh, neat. That sure is a lot of rocket. Again, not ominous in the slightest. Yeah, this sure feels like a big ass arena. A lot of long areas for them to charge through. Oh, yeah, thanks for telling me how to. stuff made out of? I thought it was some like alien spider web or bramble or something, but no. This thing fucking resists explosions? Resists a fucking disintegration gun? What in the goddamn? Maybe that's what we make all our doors out of. Oh. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Cables? Ah, here we go. Oh. Even more rockets. Yeah, this is, uh, really filling me with comfort. Long distance. Oh, 
wireless transmission of electricity. Not particularly long range, but that's interesting. I wonder how long the range would be. Yeah, that's got potential. Uh, it might, although, even if it's lossy, which I don't know how lossy it is. All right, this is this seems to be the last one, following the rule of three and following the rule of dramatic tension. This is when everything's gonna go pear-shaped. Either that, or when I press the last one. The Okay, so. Alright. Prepare for clusterfuck. Uh. Hi. Teleport faster! Teleport faster! Teleport faster! Fuck. Hi! I see why I need all the rockets! That's, is that an egg sack? Or... A sack of something, alright. Maybe it's where it holds its brain. What? Is it auto-targeting? I mean, not auto Manual targeting, technically. Ah! Well, I'll put a hurt on it regardless. What the? Okay. Is that it's young that's, that are attacking me? If so, maybe that is an exact. Well, I'm killing your young. Killing them in- Popping them in their cradle. Mothering them in their sleep. Annihilating them before they even have the chance to be born. Because such abominations don't deserve to exist. And soon, even you will cease. Because anything that dares to step up, to step up to challenge the Freeman, doesn't deserve to continue existing. Its, its death was preordained the, from the, the moment it decided to put itself on the path of the Freeman. That is the truth that is baked into the laws of the world itself. As incontrovertible as inescapable as the laws of gravity, and just as poorly understood. Oh, busted right through this, god damn. That's impressive. Gonark's Lair. Alright, suit. That's a bit of a childish name for it. I guess it does kind of look like a giant testicle, but come on, HEV suit. Come on. I mean, the HEV suit isn't that great at naming. I mean, <laughs> the name it gave this world was, what was it, Zen? But with an X instead of a Z? So it's like, Zen? <laughs> Pretty silly. They've gotta be like randomly generated or something. No one would actually create a name like that for alien planet. Can I get through there? Yeah, I don't think so. Well. There's tentacles. Is that like a giant starfish or something? So what's this do? Well, I can kind of guess what it'll do from the shape. Yeah. No big surprise there. 
What's this? Kinda reminds me of those ones that charge my suit, but it isn't. Oh well. Ah, fuck. Oh great, now it's on fire and attacking me. That's helped things. Those things really don't die fast to being incinerated. God damn. There we go, finally. Oh. That. Hang on a second. No? Huh. I guess I misread the situation. I saw that weird purplish stuff and all the haze and everything. I thought it was something flammable. Oh well. Hello, BC. More of that stuff. They're really not flammable? Apparently not. I thought with all the flares that I've been that, that I was being given, there would be some purpose to them. It tends to be how my life goes. Heh, another one of those. Ah, great. The only thing worse than an elevator. A non-functioning elevator. What the fuck is this? Is this flammable? Yes! Not sure how that helps me, but... Okay. There we go. Okay, so that is flammable, it just needs a lot more fire, I suppose. Uh, I need another. That. That suit. So wait, this stuff burns away so easily from fire, but resisted rocket launcher and in and disintegration ray. Sure, why not? Makes about as much sense as anything. Hello, beastie. Now, uh... Oh, I can just shoot it. That works too. That's a bit awkward. Whew. Thank goodness for thermal insulation. And flame retardation. Boy, they really are... They're making... Ah. 
that even do anything to me? I'm not certain. Expecting that. More for me. Honestly, if anything, I'm surprised I haven't seen birds already. It makes sense, I mean, one of the main obstacles to, uh, you know, aerial-born life is just how much weight you have to shed to make it e or even remotely practical to be able to fly. But with lower gravity, that's going to be a lot lower barrier. I'm surprised there isn't more airborne life here. Maybe there is, and I just haven't encountered it. Maybe it's been, I don't know, subject to overhunting by, by the intelligent life around here. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I don't think that actually helps anything. This on his hand. Come on, burn faster, burn faster. Why are they circling that area specifically, I wonder? Is something to do with all the Oh wait, because of the upwards gusts of wind, I guess. Oh hi. If you died right next to the healing thing. That's am I ready for you? Weird that the only airborne life I've seen so far seems to rely on those upwards gusts of wind. Maybe Idiot. Maybe it's something to do with the, uh, like, maybe the air here isn't dense enough? Outside of areas like that? That? I, I, I actually have no idea what the air is like around here because, well, ATV suit. It really is a miracle device, isn't it? Speaking of miracle devices, so I should really use this more often. I got the urge to conserve excessively, so perhaps. <laughs> That's the trouble, I mean, like, you got this powerful weapon, and you're just like, well, I don't really need it, I'll save it for when I... Because I can deal with these guys perfectly fine without it, so I'll save it for when I do need it, and then... You just wind up passing over a lot of ammo for it. And thus wasting ammo anyways, as a, as a result.
Oh well. Uh. Oh, those things are surprisingly easy to kill. Then again, I am shooting a fucking disintegration gun at a plant. Maybe that's a bit of an overstatement then. Ah! Missed me. Missed me. Now you gotta kiss me. Don't fuck her up, buttercup. Today's your unlucky day. Ah, fuck. Like, they're like those facehugger things, but them all even more annoying. They look like fucking headless chickens. Whatever. Get in a corner like this, start swinging. They only have one way to approach you, and that's into your crowbar. What the fuck? Okay, those clearly just fucking popped into existence in a fucking column. What's this? Oh! Sucker. Yeah. Ow, ow. Hi. Sucker. Not today, fuckers. Fucking cartwheel. Now, where's that last one? Oh, could have sworn there was another one. Oh well, if it's buggered off, it's no skin off my face. Oh, hey. See ya, sucker. Not even close. Eat shit, loser. Ah. Oh. See ya, fuckboy! Oh, I am just fucking effortlessly outmaneuvering him at every turn, and it feels so damn good. The way it does. Ooh, trying to flank me, aren't ya? Well, uh, you know your way around the train better than I, but I know my way around a hunt better than you. Oh. Just sort of hanging out in the middle of the wall. Sure, why not? Hmm. Ow, what? 
Excuse me? Okay, apparently I can't just walk on the part, the very large areas with no spikes on them. Probably because that would make too much sense. We can't have that. Going down there, safe. Now, uh, is anywhere safe? I love it. Don't be on jets. Just call me Benny. 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 Jet. <laughs> Running away, are we? Cowardly little shit. Oh, then again, what did I expect? In fact, cowardice is perhaps the wrong word for it. Against me, I would qualify that as intelligence. Hello, beastie. Ow. Annoying motherfucker, aren't you? He didn't try spiking me there. Hello. No, no, this isn't intelligence. Intelligence would be if he buggered off entirely. No, that isn't what he's doing. He's just piddling away at me from what he believes is safety. Oh no. This is not intelligence, this is cowardice. Brink stupidity. That he thinks that he could possibly ever be safe from me. By any means. Except by running away eternally and never stopping. Not even when he thinks, not when he thinks he's safe. Not when he thinks he's a mile and a half away from where I am. No. Never stop me. Or better yet, never encountering me in the first place. Being lucky enough to not have the universe subject you to me. That. That is the best way to stay safe. Anything less, and you're just fooling yourself. Hey there. Burns away like flash paper. Uh. Ow. And there we go. Well, that's pleasant. Run away! Woo! Oh, it's a beautiful sight. Ah! 
Look at all the look at the crystal reflecting the flame. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at all the nice roasting face huggers. Yep, I won't have to worry about food if I get stuck here. Assuming they're edible. One can only hope. But of course, hope is the first step on the road to disappointment. More of these underwater face huggers. I mean, not face huggers. Underwater barnacles. And my aliens mixed up. I wouldn't normally spend a, one of those in back charges on a bunch of face huggers, but if they were clumped up like that. It's impossible to resist. Ah! Like these can resist rockets, but not falling rocks. What is their deal? Okay, I'm starting to think my resolve to not end this episode until I take down that damn creature might have been a mistake. Taking a bit longer than I expected. Come on. Get up. Oh, come on. You can't climb a tiny little hill. Strike right as I. Hi! Not today, thank you! Whoa! This place sure does like its water puzzles. Perhaps over much. Right. Ah, more rockets. 
clearly a sign we're on the right path. Wow, that's astonishingly slippery. It's so slippery, it's bloody impossible to get back up. In fact, no, this is beyond slippery. Like, normally people talk about, like, slippery as in, you know, it's got low friction and all that, but this just straight up forces me to slide downward. Defying the laws of physics. I mean, sure, it's an alien world, why not? Hi! Just gonna stand there and take it? Fine by me. That's a bit awkward. Ah. Close range rocket blast. The best kind of rocket blast. Hmm. Did, it, did it run because of the rocket blast or because of the fire? So if it's afraid of fire. Bit of an odd place for it to be. Now this is a fucking arena. This is where our final battle shall take place. As is right and proper. You may have been wondering why I was running away so much. This is why. I needed a proper fucking arena to fight it. Nope! Not today! Not tomorrow! Not next week! Not in a month from now! Not on your birthday! Not on our one year wedding anniversary! Not on our ten year w wedding anniversary! Not on our honeymoon! Not on our divorce! And not even on our one year divorce anniversary. Ah, fuck. God damn, how many rocks is this guy gonna just stand there and take? Did I break him? That's fine by me. I'm perfectly happy to beat uh, beat on broken people. Will you, you fucking die already? This isn't. This is becoming a chore. I don't think this is supposed to be happening, to be frank. Uh, it's just a funny feeling I've got. Shit. Shit. I think I gotta restart that, that whole fight. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> it just fucking broke. Alright then. Well, I'm happy to beat down on him all over again. Sounds like a fun fucking
Ooh! I went fucking flying! Oh boy! Ah, fuck. Ow! Eh, not today. Not tomorrow. And you know the rest. I just prematurely detonate all of stuff. That's fantastic if I did. It's even more fantastic if he did it himself on accident. Ah! Okay, uh, that's probably what was supposed to happen. Alright. Didn't break this time. Yet. So I get to do, do to break you the hard way. It's far more fun if you than if you just did it yourself. Now die, you insufferable worm! This is what happens to all that try to face the Freemen. No matter how powerful, no matter how resistant they may be, taking dozens and dozens of high ex explosive rockets, blasting me with everything it had, everything that Zen has to offer, and it wasn't enough. Not by hat. <laughs> I am a god! How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. Well, that was fun. Besides the whole AI breaking. And, and just becoming impossible to kill. That was a bit naff, but... Aside from that... <sighs> now, this video... Now, this video is getting rather long. Rather longer than I intended. Because the... Bozo Bo Bo took ages to take us to an actual proper arena. So, I'll leave you here. Until next time, I have been Gordon Freeman, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. <laughs> Thank you.